Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most extraordinary, exciting and unforgettable experience available on this planet. Now, for millions of years, mankind lived in fear of nature. We ran from it, we hid from it, we worshipped it. But now, we've conquered it for our own entertainment. Now we're in charge. Phase one is built, but phase two, well, it's a whole new level of ambition. Tens of thousands of visitors a month, hundreds of millions of dollars a year, all of it powered by free geothermal energy for the eco-warriors amongst us. And you know the best part? We've only just begun. <laughs> Let me tell you a little story. My father gave me this watch. And I was about that big. What do you hear? He said, listen carefully. So I put it to my ear and I said, money. <laughs> I mean, only a lunatic would build a world-class resort on a ticking time bomb of molten earth, right? Wrong. There was no chance of this beast howling again for at least 150 years. And they all know that too, but they don't want to be reminded of it. Because today's tourists want to live life on the edge. They want to bungee jump over rivers full of crocodiles. They want to eat poisonous blowfish in Tokyo. They want to feel like they're dancing with death, living life to the full all the while knowing that, in fact, they're perfectly safe. And that is why Chanwa is the must-see destination for the selfie generation. 